Let's review handlebars templates and how they work. At the top here, I've included jQuery and the handlebars frameworks. And down below, I have a handlebars template as identified by the type and ID. Then I have a div tag and an expression pointing to the color property. In the browser, let's review the compilation process. First, I'll get a source by using jQuery. And then I'll use the handlebars compile method to get a function and assign it to the template variable. Then I'll create a context with one property called color and then call the template method with the context. And I get an HTML string as a result. I can assign that to the HTML variable and then append it to the document body. The key part of this process is the handlebars.compile method, which returns to us a function. But this compilation process is expensive. And so we can do better by compiling our handlebars templates on the server. Let me show you how. We'll start by using npm to install the handlebars command line utility. We'll use the G flag so that it's available to all of our users. Next, I'm going to take the contents of my handlebars template and move it into its own file called colortemplate.handlebars. Over in the console, I'll use the handlebars command line utility and the path to the file to pre-compile my handlebars template. As you can see, it returns an immediately executing function, and it adds our compiled template, the function, to the handlebars.templates object with the key of color template. But what we really want is to add this to a JavaScript file so that we can include it in our application. So let me show you how to do that. Using the same command line app, but using the dash f flag with the path to the output file, we can create a JavaScript file with our template. And if we open up the file, we see the same immediately executing function, but in a JavaScript file. And we can include this file now in our index.html with a script tag. Over in the browser, let's look at the handlebars.templates object. If we expand it, we can see that our template function now has been assigned to the color template property, which was the name of the file that we used. And just like last time, we can create a context object and call our template method with the context object to get back a string of HTML. Except this time, the template was compiled on the server, and so we didn't have to eat that cost in the browser. And finally, I'll just append that HTML to the body of the page. Thanks for watching, and from California on this Christmas Eve, I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas.